What's good everybody, it's Gab here bring you guys back in another video and this one's a little different than what I'm usually uploading but I'm here to help you guys out because some of you guys have been asking me how to stream on your computer on like Streamlabs, Streamlabs OBS, your PlayStation without an Elgato because an Elgato can be pricey. I have my Elgato. I had to stream like this before though when I didn't have it but I'm here to teach you guys how you can stream without a PC. So there's this thing called PlayStation Remote Play. You guys might know of it, but you can even get on your phone, you can get on your computer, and you can basically just play your PlayStation from your computer or phone. And this is basically what we're gonna have to do. I already have it installed, but I'm here to teach you guys how to get it, how to set everything up. So you wanna go to Windows PC user or Mac, whatever one you want, and you're gonna wanna click the download link right there. See, I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it. But once you have that downloaded, you want to go to Streamlabs OBS. You want to download that. Again, I already have it, so I don't need to download it. But this is completely free. This is, you know, it's it's really good if you want to start streaming. It's probably one of the best softwares I use. It's better than just regular OBS, to be honest. Streamlabs OBS, and you get live feedback. It's just, it's just, you guys already know what it is. But you want to go ahead and download both of those. And then when it's done downloading, you want to go ahead and you want to open it up you give it a second Ugh. and then it says it'll say check it for updates something like that but it's probably the first time you open it it's probably gonna ask you for your login and stuff just log in and then it's gonna say connect the controller to the computer so we're gonna go ahead and do that all right so you guys see I plugged it in I got a notification saying setting up the device so you want to go ahead and press start this is gonna pair the controller and the PlayStation and you see Gavin each connected using the more plates say whatever your name is we can go full screen it's basically you see device radio there's really it's not really a bad input either like the lag it's pretty good, I mean, if you have to play on it, but you're not even going to be using because you can still play on your TV. Um, so, yeah, but now, when you have, and then this is to for, like, when you're in parties and stuff. So, yeah, that's what I had an issue with, and I just want to make sure you guys knew that. So, now you're going to want to go on Streamlabs OBS or OBS, whatever one you download, and you want to go and hit Add Source. And then you want to go ahead and hit Window Capture, you Add Source add it and then you're gonna look for ps4 remote play this one right here you go ahead and press done and then look here we can uh close that no we can't anyways this will pop up you can stretch it like that you can hit hold on where is it at transform stretch the screen and then look now you have your PlayStation on your Streamlabs on your computer without an Elgato. You can even go ahead and add, you know, your overlays, um, your social media is down below. Like you can do so much more that you can't do on YouTube. So that's why I really like OBS. But yeah, that's basically it. It's very simple. You see right here. You can just go ahead. It just looks weird because I have. Um, OBS recording like my uh, computer but it'll look fine for you you can stretch it like that again or you just go stretch the screen but yeah that's basically it for this one it's a very simple and easy tutorial so I hope it helped and it worked for you guys and if it did make sure you drop a like you comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video peace